Hello, I'm Jomica, and welcome to a quick little tutorial on how to get started with SevTech. Um, this is just going to be kind of from my experience. I don't have tons of experience with SevTech, um, but I really had a hard time getting started with it just because I'd never played this mod pack or anything similar. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started. Uh, a couple things right off the bat is these little rocks here are usually rocks um, and you need those to craft different items uh, if you run around and just kind of click on them all just real quick they will either break instantly and they're a rock um, if they don't break right away on just the one little click that means they're a different resource that is currently locked um, in the current stage you're in so I guess just leave it like this one right here I have no idea what that noise is, but if you hit it and it doesn't go away right away, that means it is another resource. I'm curious to know what that noise is, but it sounds dangerous. Yeah, it looks like a wolf or something. Uh, another thing is these sticks. You also need sticks you can get from the ground or from punching trees, and they'll drop from the leaves like that. Um, the biggest thing I had a problem with was figuring out how to get flint. Uh, in normal Minecraft, you can get it just by punching a bunch of gravel, and eventually you'll get a flint with it. Um, but I think in this pack, it's always flint, or I mean, it's always gravel, and you have to build uh, a mesh to get it. Another thing you wanna do is to start kinda near some water um, because that will have gravel and then you need a lot of water to kind of get going to do certain things and yeah I think wa being near water is a good thing uh, you also kind of want to be near a village or at least know where one is nearby because you'll need to do some villager trades some simple ones but you still need to do it in order to progress through the, the tree and speaking of the achievement tree, if you push L, it'll pop up with the advancements here. And it'll kind of guide you through what you need to do and when is a good time to do it. So for this one, this is the tutorial. And to complete the tutorial, you need to complete the advancement to craft a work stump to move into age zero. And that's somewhere over here. So you got to get through these. Um, but in order to make the flint hatchet here to get this achievement you need to get flint which is actually through this mesh um, so it's just a kind of good idea to go through and read all the different achievements that you need to do and do these over here first I guess kind of seems like a good order to do it in um, but to get down here you actually need to do this one then this one and then you can do this one so it's a little out of order it seems like but that's fine. So for this one, we need to craft some, not string, but some fiber. And you do that just by punching out some of these. And pick one up right there. So we got the fibrous diet. Um, and then, yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and craft these together. And what do we need for the mesh? Here we go. So just sticks and the plant twine, which I just created out of the plant fiber. And we got mesh your flint. That's the second achievement there. And then we can take the gravel, put it with the mesh fiber, and we have our flint. So the next thing we want is to craft the flint hatchet. So in order to do that, We'll go ahead and check the recipe here. The flint hatchet right here is a flaked flint and plant twine and sticks. We already have these two, but we need to go ahead and get some flaked flint. And in order to do that, we will head over to this stone here. And we will just one tap, left click on the mouse with the flint here. And every once in a while, the flint will either disappear or you'll get a flaked flint. So we'll just keep hitting it, keep hitting it. 
and eventually we'll get everything we need. I mean, we already have enough, but it sometimes it does take a little bit. If you just hold it, you're going to try to break the rock, and it looks like you can't even do that. Um, but it won't work. You just have to keep clicking over and over and over until you get what you need. And then you can go ahead and craft that. And we're actually missing the plant twine because we need to hit some more of this grass here. That should be enough. Craft it into the plant twine. And we have ourselves a flint hatchet. So there we go. We have the flint hatchet and it unlocks some more things we can do. So we can upgrade to a flint pickaxe, which will allow us to get stone. Actually, it'll be cobblestone. Um, but yeah, I mean, the biggest thing, issue I had was getting the flaked flint here. And even the flint in general. I just had no idea how to do it. Kind of searched around on YouTube. Couldn't really find any direct videos on how to do that. So I just figured I would give... A pretty simple basic overview of how to get started with Sevtech because I am actually starting a series in Sevtech which is open to anyone who wants to play it with me uh, it'll be a whitelist server you can find more information about it on my website uh, jomica.co or you can join the discord which you'll need to do anyways to get whitelisted and you can ask me about it there. So I hope that this was helpful for anyone who's going to play Sevtech. And I'm hoping to see some of you guys on my multiplayer server. So thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys next time.